Okay, um, so let's get started. Uh, right now I have 4.1, and I'm going to show you that I don't have my SH, SH file saved for 3.1.2. Now I'm going to try to restore, and I should fail. Verifying restore. It's taking this long, you know it won't work. It's waiting for the error message. Oh yeah, I'm just letting you know. Uh, it doesn't matter what version of iTunes you have. I'm using 10 right now, and it doesn't matter what firmware you have. So, uh, first you have to get the uh, firmware 3.0 for your device, and once you get that, I'll put a link in the description on how to get it. Gotta put this on your iDevice on DFU mode, my bad. Put your device on DFU mode before beginning, my bad. Let me just do that real quick. Okay. On DFU mode. So now we do Shift Restore or Alt Restore on Mac. So you have to go into DFU mode first on your iDevice. Now we get our 3.0 firmware, and now it should go. And it, it skipped right over the check uh, for the see if it's later firmware so it's going right now uh, the i device my iPod is in um, restore mode it's got the Apple logo with the bar and while this is going through I'm going to tell you how it works for any of those haters out there are going to call me an idiot saying this won't work uh... later new devices like the iphone 3gs uh... mc model devices like uh... ipod 3g ipod 2g mc model and uh... iphone 4 uh... they have uh... the, the check if it's the latest firmware built into the motherboard uh, I think it's boot built into the uh, the bootloader, but earlier devices like the iPod Touch first generation, iPod Touch second generation, MB model, iPhone 2G, and possible the iPhone 3G. I don't know. I don't have one. Uh, you guys gotta tell me if it works. Uh, it's the firmware telling iTunes not uh, to. Uh, iTunes to check if it's the latest firmware. It's not built into the motherboard of the iDevice. So, you kind of benefit. So, this is going to take a little while, so I will pause the video. Okay, now that we're done, uh, you can see it went from 4.1, which is the latest firmware, to back to 3.0. So there's proof that you don't need SHSH files for 3.0. Because after 3.1.1, uh, Apple started using the SHSH uh, method for the I dev old I devices. So now what you want to do is get uh, Red Snow 9.2. Uh, I have a whole bunch of crap on my desktop, so I'm just going to search for it.
Uh, put a link in the description where to get Red Snow 9.2. Uh, open it. Now, we'll go to Browse and use that same firmware you used to restore back to 3.0. So, it should be around here. There it is. Open. Uh, you shouldn't have an MC model because this does not work with MC models. So, say no. Uh, so we go next. Let it patch the ISPW file. I don't know the firmware. Take a couple seconds. Okay. Uh, I I would recommend just installing Cydia. Keep it simple. Uh, you can try custom logos if you want, but uh, I'm afraid it might slow down the device or something. So. I would stay away and just install Cydia. And uh, we go to next. So now, get ready to put the device in EFE mode, which I'll do right now. Hold on. Okay, we're in GFU mode now. Alright, just. Alright, you should. Your eye device should be flashing white. If it isn't, then something's not going right. So, it's flashing white, that's good. And now, a little hard drive with an arrow should pop up. It's downloading your jailbreak data. So now, the rest of the jailbreaking happens on your iDevice. You should see a pineapple with legs come up, you know, it looks like he's running. So, there it is on my device. And, I'll pause the video again to save some time. Okay. So now, the jailbreak is done. Oh yeah, just a reminder. Uh, this uh, video isn't a, uh, this tutorial isn't a uh, way to uh, not save your SHSH files. I recommend you always do for every firmware because uh, that's guaranteed. There's a possibility uh, Apple might not let you restore custom, um, custom firmwares anymore on, through iTunes. So uh, you should uh, save your SHS files. Um, whether you're using Windows or a Mac, uh, for Windows, uh, like what I'm using, we're gonna use uh, Snowbreeze. If you're using a uh, Mac, uh, try Ponage Tool for uh, 3.1.2. So, uh, I'll, I'll try to get Ponage Tool and I'll put it in the description, uh, download link, and I'll do the same for Snowbreeze. So, let me just get a uh, snow breeze real quick. Snow breeze 3.1.2 light, my bad. So, what you want to do is click, uh, I'll do an expert mode so it's more thorough. So, you browse for your 3.1.2 firmware. Got mine right here. It's gonna process it. Uh, just press I understand because you shouldn't have an MC model. Uh, click next. 
uh, general. So uh, I would just leave this alone. Uh, you can add the uh, add Snow Breeze iPhone app if you want. Um, I'm I'm not gonna add it. So what you want to do is next. Just leave Cydia. You can install Rock through Cydia later if you want. Next, uh, don't mess with this. What's next? Um, at this point, you can install boot logos if you want. Uh, I'm not a just uh, for uh, to stay away from any bugs, but you feel free and uh, make sure they're not bigger than uh, 320 by 40 pixels and 100 and 100 kilobytes. Okay. So next, so now that let's build ISPW uh, and press start. I'm not gonna do it because I already made one. So once it's completed, it's gonna say uh, Snow Breeze iPod 2G um, restore. So go on your desktop. Uh, should be here. Right here, it should look like this Snow Breeze iPod Touch 2G. So, what you want to do is open iTunes. Okay. Don't update. Don't update. Uh, I wouldn't recommend updating until there's a new jailbreak, jailbreak find for uh, 4.1. Uh, so go to here. Uh, Shift restore or Alt restore for Mac. And Snow Breeze iPod 2G. And click open. What's good about custom firmware is that uh, it patches the ISPW where uh, iTunes won't check to see if it's the latest firmware. So this is like the biggest key in getting around the uh, the the firmware check. So this is going. Um, you can go into DFU mode or recovery mode if you want. I didn't, and it's working fine. So. Uh, while this is going through, I'm going to pause the video to save some time. Okay, we're almost done. I got it to uh, 3.1.2 now. So now I'm going to unlock it and go to Cydia. And for some reason, it crashes before you start up. So what you can do to fix this is go to uh, the one the the latest uh, jailbreak from the iPhone dev team uh, jailbreakme.com. I have a link for that in the description. Uh, you go uh, on it with your iDevice and uh, just basically uh, slide to unlock on the website and. It will ask you that your device is already jailbroken. Do you want to jailbreak it again? It might be harmful. Just uh, say yes. You shouldn't get any problems. Uh, this should fix it. It did for me. So. Uh, yeah. Just a reminder. This only works on iPod first generation, second generation MB model, uh, iPhone, the first iPhone, iPhone, possibly iPhone 3G, I don't know, per people with iPhone 3Gs, um, test it and see if it works, if it does, um, tell me in the comments, and, uh, it won't work for iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch third generation, iPod Touch 2G, MC model, and uh, iPhone 4 or iPad won't work. So 
good luck and I hope this helps.